Hey everybody, Genesis Jones here with Total G Shockers. And in this video, we'll be walking through the seven steps on how to calibrate the compass readings on your G Shock GPR B1000 Rangeman. Let's get started. <music> So before I begin, if you haven't already, go ahead and check out the previous video in this Digital Compass video series. In the last video, you learned how a digital compass could be helpful and why it's included in your G-Shock watches. It gives you a quick background knowledge about this feature that is found in many G-Shock watches that contain the twin sensor or the triple sensor. So go ahead and check that video out right now. All right. So now let's walk through the seven steps on how to set up the compass reading on the G-Shock GPR B1000 Rangeman so you can have more accurate compass readings. So when calibrating the compass readings, you want to make sure to perform this task whenever you notice that the watch's compass readings are different from those of another compass or before setting out on a climb or track. This is what's called bidirectional calibration. All right, so note that accurate compass readings and or the calibration will not be possible in an area where strong magnetism is present. So let's get to the steps. Step one, you wanna press the top left button on the rangeman. Now this is denoted as letter A on the image and this displays the digital compass mode setting screen. Step two, you want to rotate the rotary switch to move the pointer to calibration and press the rotary switch. Step three, now while keeping the watch horizontal, press the lower right button on the rangeman. This is denoted as the button at letter D. This is going to start the calibration of the first point, which causes the words, please wait to appear on your watch display. So after you wait, then rotate 180 will appear when the calibration is successful. Step four, while keeping the LCD of the watch pointing upwards, you want to rotate it 180 degrees and you want to be as exact as possible. Step five, while keeping the watch horizontal, press the button under the rotary switch again. So this is denoted at letter D. This will start calibration of the second point, which causes the word, please wait to appear on your watch display again. Now you're going to get the words turn over to appear on the display when the calibration is successful. So step six, you want to then turn the watch over so that the LCD is toward the ground. And step seven, while keeping the watch horizontal, press the button under the rotary switch. This will start the calibration of the third point, which causes please wait to appear on the display. Now successful will then appear when the calibration is successful. A few seconds later, the watch will then return to the digital compass screen. Now, if for whatever reason, the calibration fails and you get the message fail retry, simply retry the calibration and press the rotary switch. Then press the lower right button. This should be the button denoted at letter C to stop the calibration. So this is how you set up the bidirectional calibration. All right, everybody, in the next video, we'll be going through the five steps on how to set up your arrangement with magnetic declination calibration. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and make sure to hit that bell to get the notifications when new videos are released. That's all for today. And as always, continue to rock your G-Shock nonstop. Deuces!